key document that has to be completed at the start and at the close of the poll is the ballot paper account. It's important that it's filled in carefully and accurately because it tells the returning officer at the count how many ballot papers should be in the ballot box. Mistakes could lead to the count being delayed. In your ballot box contents, you will find a ballot paper account sheet for each election that is taking place. For example, if there are police and crime commissioner elections taking place, alongside district and parish elections, you will have three separate ballot paper accounts. These will be different colours, for example, the account for the district elections will be on yellow paper, parishes on green paper, the PCC account is on white paper, the same colours as the ballot papers. Notice that the ballot paper account contains the following information which you should check for accuracy. The election description, the polling station number and address, the number of the first and last ballot papers for both the ordinary and tendered ballot paper books that you have received. It is important to check that these correspond with the actual ballot paper books. The total number of ballot papers received. Note, the first ballot paper number will also have been pre-entered in the accounts column. Spaces to record the ballot box seal numbers. Before opening the poll at 7am, you should check that the ballot box is empty. Seal the box with the four numbered cable seals and record the seal numbers on the ballot paper account. At the close of poll, you should seal the ballot box opening with the sticky ballot paper seal and record the number. In this video, we are looking at the account for a district ward in a combined election. The ballot paper account has been printed on yellow paper, matching the colour of the ballot papers. Place the ballot paper account together with the last ballot paper book to be used in front of you. Ordinary ballot papers. Look at your last ballot paper book and enter the number on the counterfoil of the next unused ballot paper to be issued and enter in box A. Then calculate the total number of ballot papers issued by subtracting the figure in box A from the figure in box B. Write this number in box C. If you have had to issue replacements for spoiled ballot papers, enter the figure in box D. If you have no spoiled ballot papers, enter a zero. You will then be able to calculate the figure in the final box E by subtracting the figure in box C from box D. Check your figures. Tendered ballot papers. You should not, except in all but the most exceptional circumstances, have issued any tendered ballot papers. The figure in box A should therefore be zero. Box B, 20. Box C, zero. And the total, 20. Now you have completed the figure work. Double check your calculations, then sign and date the form. Place the form in the clear plastic wallet so that the polling station number is visible when you hand it in at the count venue. That's it for the accounts. You can then proceed with the rest of the packing.